Hey guys, today I want to show you my Arduino voltage meter that I recently made and I have it connected to a couple solar panels wired in series for more vo voltage. So let me hook up my 9 volt battery I have to it and uh, that's not even on the bed. There we go. As you can see, it, right now there's little to no light in this room because it's light out and one of my light is burnt out, which is the one directly over this, not my laptop, this. So, I'm only reading 0.42. So, let me get you basic overview of the circuit. So, all these red wires right here are just for the Arduino to connect to the LCD screen and to transmit the data to the digital pins. And it has, you know, I'm going to say two sets of negative and ground wires one for the backlight you can see the weeds right there I don't know it's bright and then one for the the, the other lighting and everything else so that's what all these red wires are and then potentiometer right here how it's a 10k potentiometer and that as you can see we'll adjust the contrast that helps a lot so that that's non destructions well you don't need that for the circuit but it's nice to have it any time you're using an LCD display which you should always just keep on with your LCD when you have it attached to your Arduino so let's see the circuit basically you have your positive coming in from your solar panel or any other voltage supply or source same thing and then it goes through a series of 4 10k ohm resistors to resist the voltage to appropriate level for the Arduino to take in and then it will go through this green wire all the way down to analog pin 2 on the Arduino device and then I'm not sure why but maybe one of you guys can tell me but there's a yellow wire well, any color wire it could be but there's a wire going from the end of the pin so it's quite the same one the green wire going to the analog input pin is on and that's leading to a hmm, it's a leading to a resistor a say 446 ohm resistor which is then leading to the ground with this wire and then also leading to that is a but this this will go straight to the ground it's just the negative or ground from the solar panel or your input source and that's pretty much how it works so right now I'm I'm using a dumbbell for a tripod because I'm using my webcam and my camera is charging so whatever. yeah my room's messy deal with it okay oh um let's see if I can just get this to focus on that the voltage so if you can read it it's at 0.42 volts and right now for a camera on my phone or for a brighter flashlight than this which is dying right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the camera thing options video and then I have my flash on at during the video so when I press ok to start recording it will make very bright light because it's basically just holding on the flash so as you can see that's very blinding and unpleasant so just stop that I'm gonna record it with it close as it's easier yeah I know my phone's a piece of shit okay so as you can see right now it has a voltage not that that has a voltage oh, come on 0.42 and if I sign this, the light over it it's going to be getting up hopefully into the 4s yeah there we go into the 5.5 volt area which it would normally get in the daytime sitting inside your house with a decent amount of sunlight but not a lot just a steady stable amount that you will not get bothered sitting in but in direct sunlight the maximum voltage I have used with this circuit is well with these two pan PV panels is 
four seven volts which was in direct sunlight I mean direct as in there's nothing no sun no clouds or anything blocking the sun and I had like basically a direct path to the solar panel so that I did not expect it to get that much volts it voltage so I'm guessing they're approximately like uh, and I don't know what they're rated but it's I love the, the circuit's very cool I mean you can compress the circuit down just cram all the wires in there maybe solder this on to some perf board put that on top of there and then just have two wires coming out onto maybe a uh what would you call it I don't know but a small connector kind of like this uh, bus and the breadboard so you could just plug in 22 gauge wires straight into the slot so for a quick thing not using any splices or electrical wire or soldering so that's a good idea but I really don't have a need for that because I just use this for not lugging around my multimeter or anything so it's a lot easier it'd be cool if it had different functions you could add in a small momentary push button maybe switch it to amperage but uh, right now I'm not learning I haven't learned how to write the Arduino code so I would not be able to figure that out but um, if you want if you leave some comments and if I get enough views or, quest or comments and questions about it I will gladly do a tutorial on this and include the code in the description so that's gonna conclude my video so enjoy and have a good day and just please comment rate and if you if you want I'm not telling you to subscribe but because I can't tell you to do whatever you want but helps a lot so if you would subscribe so thank you